In October 1517, a German monk named Martin Luther nailed what would be known as his 95 Thesis on the door of the Castle Church of Wittenberg. Four years later, he gave this proclamation at the Diet of Worms, resulting in his excommunication from the Roman Church and giving rise to Lutheranism, which through the years has thrived as a Christian denomination. But the face of Christianity in America and around the world is changing. The question is, is it changing for the better? Throughout the world, Christianity is flourishing. It really is. It is growing. In Europe and in North America, it's a different story. Mainline denominations have been showing decline for many, many years. In North America, the church used to be a privileged part of society. That's no longer the case. Overall, worldwide, it's a great story. North America has its challenges. With most mainline denominations in decline, many ministers and church people are wondering what lies ahead for the church as we know it. Seminaries, the training ground for the future gatekeepers of the church on earth, will play a major role in its future. We're living in an age that uh, does not trust institutions very much. The seminary is one institution that is necessary. With all the changes going on, a seminary, and especially a seminary faculty, can provide some theological guidance to how to navigate the changes. And with all the information we have now, we have more information than the world has ever had, there's a need for wisdom. And an old established seminary has some of the wisdom from the ages to help guide us through all the information that comes our way. Concordia Seminary in St. Louis, Missouri, is a 173-year-old seminary with historic ethnic roots. It began as a log cabin built by German immigrants for German immigrants. Today, that history gives valuable insights forward for the new de-Europeanized American Christianity. Concordia Seminary will soon celebrate its 175th anniversary. It's an old venerable institution, and that carries with it then some institutional wisdom each age needs the wisdom of the ages, and so Concordia Seminary is here, as we can, to share that wisdom in our changing world. The programs and students of Concordia Seminary are reflective of this new time in American Christianity. Through its Ethnic Immigrant Institute of Theology, its Center for Hispanic Studies, and its cross-cultural experiences, as well as its traditional programs, it is preparing the ministers of tomorrow for 21st century service and mission. One reputable scholar, Philip Jenkins of Great Britain, says that in the year 2050, America will still be a predominantly Christian country, but he said, it will not be the old stock. It will not be people who look like me. It will be made up of a Christianity of, of diverse ethnic groups. And so for the, the work of the seminary, which is the spread of the gospel of Jesus Christ, we need to service those groups as we've never done it before. Probably this is why the the, the seminary and the church is very proactive towards reaching out because they themselves were immigrants and they reflect that immigrant experience and so they want others to be brought into. And so it makes sense really. The Center for Hispanic Studies offers theological formation in the Spanish language for pastors and deaconesses in the Lutheran Church. And that's the best contribution we can give to the church because every one of those workers will come into contact with Hispanic communities in the United States. And that's sort of the first door to welcome Hispanics into our church life. Over the years, our ethnic heritage kind of faded a little bit in the background as we became Americans. But with the growing diversity of the United States of America, with uh, the people uh, of different faces and different colors uh, becoming more and more prominent in our daily life. Concordia Seminary is hoping to lead our church and others back to the fact that we are all ethnic. Concordia Seminary offers graduate programs and resources that can be used by Christians from all denominational backgrounds. We have the faculty that have written the books. Um, we have Dr. Jim Veltz, who wrote the book on Greek grammar that we use. He wrote the book on Lutheran hermeneutics that we use. We have um, Bob Kolb, um, who has written numerous books on the Lutheran confessions. Charles Arend also um, 
expert in the confessions. And I could go on and on at the number of our professors who are very well known in their fields for their academic work. And to be able to study under those men is incredible. Concordia Seminary is committed to seizing the opportunity that lies before it to be a part of a stimulating spiritual future that truly makes a difference in people's lives without compromising a valued theological confession. Luther's main focus was to put people on the goodness and the grace that comes to us from God in Jesus Christ. That's what his whole life was about. If Luther were here today, he would say, turn out graduates who will lead people to follow Jesus Christ. Built upon its unchanging theological beliefs, Concordia Seminary is expanding its emphasis upon reaching, serving, and being relevant to the wide variety of people groups in the changing American society in which graduates seek to serve. To learn more about Concordia Seminary and its programs, visit csl.edu.